Good morning, folks. In 171 angstroms, we can see the different low-level magnetic fields of the sun. Two bright areas just south of center are umbral magnetic fields from sunspots, while the mass coming in up north is mostly mesospot fields, connecting areas of plaguing or surface magnetism rather than the sunspot umbras. As you could see, everything was calm once again on our star. Let's come to the GOES X-ray flux and find solar flaring, low as you can find it, and I can tell you that the sunspots are not likely to change that today. The solar wind is decreasing in intensity as density, speed, and plasma temperature are all going down right now. Earth's magnetic shield gets a bit of a breather. We've seen a tremendous uptick with this earthquake watch already. This coronal hole has ushered in a significant earthquake surge on the heels of phi angle fluctuations and a rare four-way planetary alignment. A 6.9 struck Alaska, a 7.0 struck Indonesia. Then a six-pointer struck Central America yesterday, later downgraded, and Alaska shook again as well, and even Popo down in Mexico began clearing its throat. Hopefully, this is all we'll get. Top articles of the day include a new map of Ceres. We've got topography and a new way to gauge the craters and forms. JPL gets the nod on this one. Then we have a terrific article describing the changes in Earth's magnetic field, this article out of Rochester confirms how weak Earth's magnetosphere has become, but some of the information in general about magnetic reversals conflicts with that of Berkeley, the governments of the U.S. and Japan, and that of ESA's swarm mission. So, in honor of this topic, let's feature magneticreversal.org today. This page has all the data, some discussion about what might be coming in the future, and most importantly, all the citation links so you can check the facts for yourself and not just believe some voice you heard on the internet. MagneticReversal.org Also folks, there are just two days left in the birthday week of SuspiciousObservers.org. Price is currently 20 bucks for a year with hundreds of hours of material versus 30 bucks in a few days when it goes back up. All membership dues cannot be raised once you actually get in. It's the lower price for life. We're keeping an eye on this system out to sea, but the story tonight will be on land. Hail blanketed the upper Midwest last night off the Convergence Line heading south from this northern low. It'll shift slightly east by tonight. Since Europe is going to have a bit of a lighter day today, we're coming to India where a tropical cyclone is formed and is pairing with an earth spot to the west to keep heavy rains and flood threats coming to the region. Australian west coast, the only part of this area not protected by the high pressure node sitting over southeastern Australia. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. MagneticReversal.org, the easiest way to learn and share information about the shift. Also, last days to get locked in over at SuspiciousObservers.org as well. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.